the country is facing an existential crisis yeah. with Donald Trump. Yeah. And I think that Bernie Sanders, uh, right. Elizabeth Warren, Pete Buttigieg, uh, Globusar. Bloomberg? Global Bloomberg, yeah. I mean, I think Bloomberg is interesting because he's spending so much money now. He is. He's a very talented person. <clears throat> right. And, uh, is there anything wrong with spending money to, to, to win election? You know what you call a billionaire who buys the presidency? Mr. President. <laughs> right? Well, this is my point. Like, people are, obje people, are, people are complaining that Bloomberg is spending uh, all this people, money to buy the presidency. Like, this is the first time that's happened. Yeah, people, right. you know, people complain. You can't worry. You have a problem uh, with that? No, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. I actually think Bloomberg is a patriot. I don't know how many dele delegates he's going to get in Texas. I know he's inundating the airwaves here and in California. California, you're right, yeah. He'll end up with some delegates. I'm not, I don't think he'll get the nomination. But as, by being the candidate... Right. That means he can spend as amount, uh, however much money he wants on his campaign. And, of course, a part of his campaign is the opponent he may face in the fall. He needs to prepare the people for that, uh, that opponent. And, therefore, he will spend a couple hundred million dollars on right. negative ads on Trump on, face, on social media. So regardless of who the nominee is, they benefit from Bloomberg's spending. Absolutely. Right. And he said if he's yeah. not the nominee, he's still spending the money. He is a legitimate businessman. He is someone who has paid his taxes. He is someone <laughs> who, you know, uh, yeah, I can go down the list. No, no, it's okay. Say. We get it. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just write it into the record what you're going to say. Look, you're from Missouri. You're from a state that, in my lifetime at least, was a, a, a state that Democrats could win. Right now, Missouri is red, right? It's red. Can you understand why people in your home state like the president? There are people in this country who like the president, who yeah. are loyal to the president. He was right. He said he could shoot somebody in the middle of Fifth Avenue and get elected. That's true. I think, he has a high floor. Yeah. Take it. Let's look, put a context on it, yeah. right? Um, you know, Democrats for many years had a very strong union base. Uh, Democrats had a very strong base in, across the board with the middle class. Between 2000 and 2010, uh, there were 12,000 factories that closed and, and uh, 6 million people lost their jobs. You then had a financial crisis where everybody, the, the banks were bailed out and yep. people weren't bailed out. Yep. Uh, you know, you then have an opioid crisis that comes out of that. Uh, and you have uh, what government did not do at a time of open trade and technological change was give people what I call an economic security platform, which means health, education, pensions. If you have health, education, and pensions, you can deal with the uncertainty and change that will occur at an accelerated level by technological change or by trade. If you don't have that, then your whole life is torn apart. And when your life is torn apart, you're looking for answers. Enter Donald Trump. Right. Said the problem is all those immigrants and these bad foreign trade deals, right? And he gave people an answer. That's why I believe he won. 